Hi and welcome to this training where I will introduce typical battery charger applications, a battery charger system, and the different topologies which can be used to implement the charger. Typical personal electronics require battery chargers. Some examples include fitness tracking devices, wireless earbuds, smartphones, laptops, and tablets. Around the house, we may find other electronic devices with batteries, such as gaming controllers, robotic vacuum cleaners, wireless speakers, and drones. Finally, while shopping, we may also find battery charger-powered e-post terminals. These applications all have different power requirements and use case scenarios, which means they require different battery charging topologies. Now I'd like to walk you through a typical battery charging system. All battery-powered applications have a system load. This could be a microprocessor, a motor, or even a speaker. The system power requirements dictate voltage and current needed to run the application. With that in mind, the battery charging configuration can be selected. For example, cells can be placed in parallel or series depending on the system load requirements. The battery chemistry selected is also extremely important as it will dictate both the charging and discharging profile requirements for the battery. In order to replenish the mobile device, an input source is required. Depending on the cell configuration and charging requirements, this could be a dedicated adapter, a standard USB input, a wireless input, or some combination of these. Different protocols such as USB 2.0 or USB PD can be used to communicate between the battery power device and the input source. Once all of these requirements are finalized, the correct battery charger which can provide the system load, charge the battery safely, and interface with the input source can be selected. Now let's highlight a few of the different charger topologies. At its core, a charger is simply a device which takes power from a DC input source and uses it to charge a battery. This can be achieved in a couple of different ways. First, we have the linear charger which modulates the resistance of a pass device in order to regulate the charge current and voltage. A similar device can be constructed by using a simple switch that connects the input supply to the battery. In this case, the input supply must be able to change its output in order to regulate the charge current and voltage. Finally, we can use a switch mode charger coupled with an LC low pass filter to regulate the charge current and voltage regardless of the input supply. As will be shown, this circuit can be rearranged to achieve higher or lower output relative to the input voltage.